felt far and wide, a magnitude 4.3 earthquake rumbled Sunday evening. Suddenly somebody jerked the couch really violently it felt like, but it was brief and it took a, took a second like, oh yeah, that's an earthquake. Renata Hartog not only felt it, but she's studying it. It was near Maristone Island, which is close to Port Townsend and Whitby Island. Inside UW's Pacific Northwest Seismic Network Lab, they analyze quakes like this, and while Sundays left no reported damage. So nobody really felt really strong shaking, even though it might have been really exciting. This quake is good practice for potentially larger ones. If it had surpassed a magnitude 5, impacted people would have gotten an alert on their phone, the same system that sent a test to everyone this last week. This earthquake actually was caught really quickly by the shake alert system, but it uh, correctly estimated the magnitude, and the magnitude estimate it got was a 4.2 maximum, and that's below the threshold for public alerting. And with Sunday's quake, they were able to see that the alert system does work and that it's able to give at least a few seconds heads up. You don't actually predict the earthquake. What we do is the system very quickly detects the earthquake and then it warns ahead of the shaking arriving at people's locations. If the quake had exceeded a magnitude 5, an alert would have notified people near the epicenter with about 5 seconds heads up, and in the Seattle area, about 11 seconds. Moments that help people register what's happening and find a secure place to take cover. This quake, a reminder that a larger one could happen, and people should be prepared. This kind of earthquake is great for us to be able to practice all that because they don't happen very frequently. Now, experts tell me an earthquake of this size happens every few years, the most recent in 2020. So this quake was relatively minor, but it was mm -hmm. felt over a pretty wide area. Why is that? Yeah, Joyce, it was felt all the way from British Columbia down to Olympia. I'm told the reason is because this was a deep earthquake about 35 miles below the surface. Deep quakes can be felt in larger radiuses. So even if they're not necessarily causing damage, a lot of people certainly can feel those earthquakes, which is what we felt yesterday. Which is what we heard too. <laughs> Thanks.